Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. After a fairly content heavy month on the New Horizons Island, we're looking ahead to the month of July and breaking down all of the changes and updates players can expect to see. We've been doing this since the launch of New Horizons and everyone seems to enjoy it, so naturally we're back to highlight which limited time items become available, adjustments to the weather patterns and phenomena, and many other seasonal changes that occur next month. Again this will be a nostalgic video for many and invaluable information for the thousands of new players out there that join the community every single week. So be sure to leave a like if you love Animal Crossing as much as me and let's get to it. Number 1 Rainy Season Now as you may have guessed June is considered the rainy season for many of us in the Northern Hemisphere because the last couple of weeks of June sees the highest rates of rain and heavy rainfall you will experience on the New Horizons Island. This weather phenomena increases the chances of intense thunderstorms, the odds of catching coelacanths and is great for spawning hybrids and gyroids. However as we enter the month of July the rainy season comes to a close and from July 6th, the odds of rain and heavy rain fall from 38% down to 11%. The good news is this clears the skies for meteor showers throughout the rest of the summer season, with my island seeing 8 meteor showers in July. When was the last time you experienced a meteor shower? Let us know in the comments. Number 2 Seasonal Events Now despite July being much quieter than June in terms of activities and content, July still experiences several seasonal events including Tanabata from July 1st through to July 7th adding the bamboo grass item, Cowboy Festival from July 15th through to August 15th which of course adds the rodeo style springy ride on, this event has been moved forward from August in earlier versions of New Horizons, Marine Day which is celebrated from July 3rd through to July 17th this year and brings the ship wheel door decoration to New Horizons. This event has also been brought forward in 2023 to the first half of July. And finally, Le Quartal Joulette from July 10th through to July 20th, which adds several variations of the Ferrigian cap available to purchase. All items will of course be available from the Nook Stop during this time. Number 3 Bug Off Summer is of course the season of the tawnies in Animal Crossing and New Horizons is no different. In just a couple of days time the first Bug Off will take place at the end of June with the second occurring towards the end of July exclusive to the Northern Hemisphere. In both instances Flick will of course arrive at the plaza to host the Bug Off and challenge us to catch as many bugs as possible within a time limit. Prizes are up for grabs including the artisanal bug cage, the termite mount and the ladybug umbrella amongst many others. The more bugs you catch the more prizes you can earn and everyone is in with a chance of winning one of three trophies for taking part. If nothing else this is a great opportunity to make bells as Flick will buy all bugs caught during the event for 50% higher than Nooks. Number 4 Fishing Tawny Continuing with the tawnies, July sees the third fishing tawny of the year, this time in both hemispheres. As you'd expect, CJ will stop by the plaza and challenge players to catch as many fish as possible. During this event, items including the anchor statue, the fish print and the fresh cooler are available amongst many others. One of three trophies are of course available too for taking part, so even if you've taken part in the past, it's a great opportunity to unlock a different type of trophy. Trophy. Again, the fishing tourney is another great way to farm bells because CJ buys all fish caught during the event for 50% more than Nooks. Number 5 Island Aesthetics Moving on, another change we always like to include in these monthly videos are of course to the bushes that flower throughout the season. In the Northern Hemisphere, pink and white plumeria bushes continue to bloom throughout July, however blue and pink hydrangea bushes will stop flowering on July 20th with red and yellow hibiscus blooming in their place from July 21st through to September which is pretty cool. July is one of the few months if not the only month that sees three different types of bushes flower on the New Horizons Island. Anyway, players in the Southern Hemisphere won't see too much change as red and pink camellia bushes have already replaced holly bushes in June and continue to bloom until September. 
Number six, weather. Whilst on the topic of seasonal changes, the weather sees even more changes as we enter July. Not only will we see less rain, but the clouds that spawn around the New Horizons Island shift patterns. Whilst no specific type of cloud can be encountered at the start of summer, cumulonimbus clouds begin spawning in July on clear and partially cloudy hours. You'll most likely see these clouds on days before you're expected to have bad weather, so if you do see them, it's probably going to be rainy and windy the next day. Anyway, in the southern hemisphere, billow clouds continue to spawn throughout July and August, but the most important change is that less snow falls in the southern hemisphere, increasing the chances of encountering auroras. Number 7. Stationary Now something we often forget to cover is the changes to the stationary available at the postcard stand at Dodo Airlines. At the end of June, the Father's Day card will be removed and no longer available. It's literally only available during the month of June, so if you want to make use of it, do it in the next few days. The good news is July is still part of the summer season in the Northern Hemisphere, so the Hibiscus card, the Adorable Fluffy card and the Beach cards will continue to be available until the end of the season. Number 8, Critters. Moving on, our monthly changes videos wouldn't be complete without reminding you new months often see a shift in the bugs, fish and deep sea creatures that can be encountered. Unfortunately for those of you in the southern hemisphere won't see any new critters given it's the height of winter, however players in the northern hemisphere can expect to see 29 new critters arrive on the New Horizons Island. These include the giraffe stag, the blue marlin and the giant isopod amongst others. Naturally this is a great time to double check which critters you need to donate to the museum if you haven't completed it yet. So there we have it, I hope you're looking forward to the new month on the New Horizons Island. Don't forget to let us know what your plans are for Animal Crossing in July. And just before you go, I just wanted to remind you, I also upload daily on my Let's Play channel, The Mori Plays, where we play Animal Crossing City Folk, or Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City, every single day. It's super nostalgic, as well as Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and other games in between episodes. So if you're a fan of nostalgic Animal Crossing games, or you want to explore the chaos of Hyrule, with me please consider subscribing over there too it helps out so much and would really mean a lot thank you so much for watching and if you want to learn more about the evolution of balloon presence in animal crossing over the last 20 years be sure to check out this next video peace